Nowadays, induction cookers enjoy significant popularity thanks to their many features and reasonable price point. Compared to traditional cooking methods, they offer superior energy efficiency, speed, and safety. Their operation is based on the principle of electromagnetic induction, a topic we will explore further. Fundamentally, induction cooking is reliant upon the deep interconnection of electricity and magnetism. For understanding electromagnetic induction, let's assume a setup where a coil of wire is connected in a circuit with a battery. When current flows in the coil, it produces a magnetic field around it in a certain direction, much akin to an invisible force around it. Now, when we change the direction of the current by reversing the battery, the magnetic field flows in the opposite direction. Same as the setup before, there is a hidden coil of wire underneath your induction cooktop's shiny exterior, often made of copper, waiting in anticipation. When you turn on your cooktop, current flows through the coil and it produces a magnetic field, but that is not enough to heat your food, so instead of a steady current, alternating current is used. The term alternating is especially important. It means that the current doesn't flow in a constant direction, but rather reverses direction at an incredible speed, changing directions hundreds of thousands of times per second. Now, when we put the cookware on the glass or ceramic top, the magnetic field is generated in the cookware because of the waves coming from the coil, and the magnetic field fluctuates quickly. This changing field induces the free electrons in the metal of your pot to get moving. The whirling, forced motions of the electrons create what we call eddy currents. When these eddy currents speed up and turn more quickly, they encounter the inherent resistance of the metal. This resistance creates friction, and as hard as rubbing your hands together heats them up, this internal friction creates a considerable quantity of heat right at the very base of the pot. The warmth doesn't flow from the cooktop to the pot, but instead occurs inside the pot courtesy of the tremendous power of those induced eddy currents. That's why the cooktop can stay relatively cool. It's only a conduit for the magnetic field, not a heat source. However, we need to consider the type of cookware we use because not all cookware is suitable for induction cooking. For induction cooking, the cookware must be made from ferromagnetic substances like iron or an alloy of ferromagnetic substances. Cookware made from glass or pure copper won't work as they are not ferromagnetic. Sorry if the visuals are poorly animated and of low quality, but I will improve in the next video for sure. Thanks for watching.